What's up, my scrubs? Welcome back to Danganronpa B3. Now, we start in that class trial today. All right, don't say nothing. I don't know if this is the last trial or not, but either way, uh... It's gonna be a good one. Chapter 5, class freaking trial. As always, guys, like a broken record like I am, if you missed last episode, how did we get to the chapter 5 class trial? You might be lost. Um, you know, it's, it's like every class trial just tops itself. And uh, this one is gonna be one for the history books. Your boy's hyped. The Pepto Bismol is gonna be flying uh, crazy today. <laughs> uh, I can't say I can't say for certain, but I still believe. I still believe Kaito wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. But I hope he's alive. Kaito, be alive. Be alive, please, Kaito. Yeah, I don't know if I said it. Check out last episode if you missed it. It's where we did the investigation. I don't know. I, I probably Some of you probably don't even care about the investigations, but anyway, I always like to give you the opportunity to check it out. It's going to come up here. I'm about to block out two hours of my life to complete this, and I hope you do as well, guys. I got myself uh, not sponsored. Got some nice water here. I just want to know if it's the last class trial or not, right? I will fight. In this trial of truth and lies. All right, what's so interesting about this class trial, guys, is the fact that Kokichi and Kaito are not here. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. All right, it's been five of them already. During I don't think you need trial, to really explain you'll it. You present your arguments for who the culprit is well, I'll say and it. vote for who done it. it. Oh. <laughs> what? Who done it? Uh, what was that? You mean who done it? Who done it? I'm the real Monokuma now. Get this guy out of here. I'm just kidding. Who's it just says it different. It throws me off. And only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. Uh oh, and something's that happening. Will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find Kibo, our own wow. reasons to live. Okay, all right. I'll, I already feel bad for Sasakibo because he's already saying this crap. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An actual talking robot! What? <laughs> I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> he's in denial. He doesn't know he's a robot. Seriously? What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Yeah, we'd have to assume that they're dead if they're not here. Aw, don't make that face, killer. This case has some unique circumstances. Oh, really? Do, do tell. Circumstances? Because for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Yeah. Given these circumstances... Uh-huh. I decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous. What? After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. You can't just be changing things up all of a sudden, Monokuma. Okay, so to say that the victim is anonymous assumes that only one died. That's what that sounds like. So is one is still alive. I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. He literally said that like oh, an episode ago. Don't worry. The person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their key. Oh, so you're working together with the Monokuma. How come I wasn't told? Look at me over here. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving! This is nothing but entertainment for Monokuma. I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind. Kokichi. I don't, I don't believe it's Kokichi. It's too obvious. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. Samugi! It's Samugi! <laughs> End! <laughs> How long are you going to say that? Ah, uh, God, I can't say Kaito. this. End of discussion. Honestly, uh, I'm convinced it's gonna be. Uh, sh <laughs> I'm convinced it could be freaking Samugi and Shuichi. I, I really, I really can't say. Uh, everyone is kind of equally sus in this one. But I would have to say. To be absolutely sure. If we don't positively identify the victim, uh. the other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. What we do know, you know, I don't I don't want to get ahead of myself. What we do know is that there's only a few people that know how to assemble that crossbow, and it's Maki, uh, uh, Kaito, and it's Shuichi. That's what we know. Everyone thinks that Kaito is a victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. 
If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. Yeah, I, I can talk about this all day, but they'll talk about it eventually. Then we'll talk about it as we go. I, I, I know, I talk a little too fast sometimes. The Come victim on. has to be Kaito. Uh, I mean, Kaito uh, I wonder. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. Possibly, possibly. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Huh? Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. Wait a minute. What are and you talking? Okay, it's Kokichi's clothes. You lost a really good guy today. Ding! If only mages could cast revive spells. That was kind of nice of her to say that. No, we obviously found Koki Kokichi's clothes. All right, wrong. Because there's no. That's why you're wrong, Maki. No, I, lo I, lo I love you, Maki. But I gotta say it when you're wrong. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. It was in the toilet. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes. And look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury. Yeah, correct? and the thing is, like, the killer specifically uh, went to... I bit my tongue. They, they went to make sure that they, they uh, put Kaito's coat in plain sight. But then they went through great lengths to try, uh, by great lengths, flushing the toilet to hide Kokichi's jacket. So it seems like they were trying to hide Kokichi more than they were trying to hide Kaito. So why did they just think it was Kaito and not uh, Kokichi? Why? Why? So therefore, like, who who comes up with this little crackhead? Like, who does Kokichi this? Kokichi was injured. The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Maki, Kate, you are so stupid sometimes. How could yeah, you say this? That's We've right. never saw the body. It's one of those irrefutable evidence thingies. Come on, guys. Come on. Give her the program. We should know better by now. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that it's Kaito's. She just wants to she 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 wants to prepare herself for the worst possible scenario. I get it. She's that type of person. She's a strong woman. Either way, it seems Maki's hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. Uh, if I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito is alive. Actually, there's well, something I mean, bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. I mean, this game this game's gonna deliver that despair on a silver platter, trust me, but I just don't know. What about them? Uh, there's something in particular about the uh, the clothes. There's something in particular- Okay, uh, the sleeve of the jacket. Uh, the bloodstain of the clothing, the owner of the clothing, um, the bloodstain? That's the only thing I can think of. Never mind, dumb, freaking stupid. Never mind, it's a sleeve. That's it. What's wrong with the sleeve? I know there was like a thing on it. Sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press. If Kaido had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. Oh my God! Yeah, good, <laughs> good freaking point though. <laughs> There Did you think of that? Arm inside the sleeve as well. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should. Shall I kill that logic? Oh my God! What? Why, Maki? I didn't think it would be you to start off with the stupid crap in the beginning. You're dumber than I thought. If I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. Maki! If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying. I me. thought we had like a trio going on. I thought we were the freaking the boys. I know she's a girl, but we're the boys. Okay, I gotta slice it all back. Swipe pattern blessing. Sticking out of the hydraulic press. It's rather telling. Uh, it couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito. You're okay. I'm sorry, but you're really dumb, Maki, right now. Then you weren't looking hard enough. Explain. Maki, you uh, look even more murderous than usual. I need to do well with this debate or else I think she's gonna kill me. The okay, blah, 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 blah. Alright, advance! I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat. Oh, he did it! Holy crap, she's Hydraulic right! Press crushed him. All that stuck out was his coat sleeve. Oh my god, maybe I'm the dumb one. If you understand to be quiet already. It still doesn't, you know, Otherwise, that's not proof. Maki's claim appears solid, but I know that it's not. She's wrong. We can't conclude Kaito is dead on that evidence. He always uh, 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 
I'm just gonna put Kaido's coat because I don't really know. Hey. I'll cut through your wood. That was just the most reasonable answer, so I put that. Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arm through his sleeve. But that was just his right Ooh. arm. Ooh! He was left sleeve normally. <laughs> yeah, wh why did he do that? And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's awfully strange, isn't it? Ah, uh, what the heck, Maki? I thought you knew then Kaito. Maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Well, it's just as full of holes as yours is. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, what's really going on? Seems like you've made up your mind that Kaito's definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's got to be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, <laughs> was dead, the killing game would be over. You're assuming he wasn't lying. Yeah, that's... Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. I mean, it would help. It gotcha. would help. I guess I'll bring him out now. Oh, oh that's easy. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to know. I do. Yes, I do. Who is it? Oh, of course they gotta be all mysterious. It's Chihiro! <laughs> I imagine. It's Gonzo! Oh god, that would be insane. Holy crap, come on. Give me some hope, game. Give me some hope. An Exosol? What? Wait! Why is an Exosol here? An Exosol? Like, I, I I just thought maybe they were inside of it? Haha. <laughs> Whoops. Woo! My bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare. Wait, huh? but, wait, 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 please! He's alive! Nani! Is that Kaito's voice? Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an Exosol and kind of dozed off. He was inside it the whole time? <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? But he's controlling it? Uh... Well, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! <laughs> There's the despair! <laughs> How can you do such a good impression? <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! How did he emulate his voice so perfectly? Kichi? Oh, this I'm game is just killing me! Till I die. I'm gonna laugh. Hey, don't you cry. don't you get me copyrighted right now? I don't know what you're thinking. Wow, that's old. How old are you? <laughs> I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> you're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. I won't believe it until I see his face. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. And, but... I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera. It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone oh my could God. see it clearly. Are we about to see Kaido die? The moment the victim died. Oh no. No game. Well, what did you say? Stop. It's like, give me some hope, man. Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! I come and grab the camera from the Nexus, so hooked it up the quartz room monitor and played the tape for us. You monster. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Just like that? Oh. Come on, Shuichi, go Super Saiyan. Huh? Kaito? This is terrible! Why would something like this... 
I saw it through my fingers. The woman. I told was crushed. What do you mean you saw it? By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause buttons so you can't edit after filming it. How do you get it off the camera then? You obviously gotta get it off the camera. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it. I'm not using that Sony Vegas. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Which means this footage is 100% real. It doesn't make any sense because there was a function. There was a function. Th there was a safety function. So assuming I'm saying there's still hope. I just want hope. I just want hope. That's all. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press. I need to see. Definitely Kaito. Did he say it though? Did Monokuma say it? Was that really him? Poor, Poor Kaito. Kaito. I can't believe. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. He died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. Himiko, what the freak? Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. Why is she talking Probably like that? How insensitive. I use my magic to transfer all my bark over to you. I know that's a joke, but the thought of it... <sighs> Why was Kaito killed? Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He just told us all that he was the mastermind and the killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Not until I see it. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died. Which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah. Oh my god, he culprit. says this every trial, so assuming it's him. Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. I, I think there's someone else in that. I, I think it's like freaking Junko, robot Junko. I, I, I'm just saying like, I, I'm thinking of every possibility. I don't think it's Kokichi. This robot has already proved that they can do two different voices. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? <laughs> Something's just not adding up. Oh man, I dug my own grave again. Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? I kind of wish fun. it was sometimes. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. Can't be that simple. It's not that simple. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever. It's voting time now. Let's go before Kokichi changes his... No, hold on a second. This isn't right. Yeah, thanks, Shibuchi. The culprit God. comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Yeah, it does seem rather pointless. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? 
Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then, are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us? That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said! I'm actually not the culprit! And he acting weird. What? But that contradicts what you said previously. <laughs> you lied? What? The uppers, that was a lie. Oh, don't, don't say Sorry. uppers. <laughs> I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting, too. Yeah, you know, he acts like Junko, too, like almost identical. Uh, are you serious? Uh, what's the truth and what's a lie? Himiko, you know you're part of this, right? I, we know what you did last summer, okay? We know you it's put the, the case in there. Because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. Now hold on, Maki. You gotta settle down there. There's more to it than that, I'm sure. Let's see into the bathroom crossbow There's no murder doubt video. That Kokichi is the culprit. Crossbow. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? And blood stain in the bathroom. That doesn't make any sense. Kaito got crushed to death. Okay, okay. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was it Kaito in the hangar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on. How am I gonna miss like that? Just leaves Kokichi then. No, 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 no. no, no. The is by the mastermind of this entire and Kaito's killer. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, no I missed it. I missed Kikichi it. Is the That's what I said. So, like, did it? Is it disabled? It doesn't make any sense. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. The safety function. Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. Unless, oh, unless it means he was already dead. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. I mean, if you really think about that, it's kind of stupid, right? Like, how does it know if it's a living person? But okay. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. Thanks, that's what I wanted to say, Kipo. Thank you. He, he, I mean, he looked pretty dead. So what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? Then why go to the... why, you why do that? You disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. No, I don't think Kokichi would use an electrobomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pr Oh, yeah, we do. No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. Deliver it. There's a clue that suggests the victim was killed before- The blood, the blood, that big old blood stain. Okay, uh, 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 where is it at? Where is it at? Swipe pattern, bam. This is it! This is going very smoothly. I like the smooth trials when I actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? We do know that. We do know that. Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. <laughs> So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the bloodstain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. Well, we have evidence. Again, you're jumping the gun, Maki. Right there. There! Crossbow was used in multiple the people here. hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat. No, no, no. There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon. Oh, Himiko. Whoa. Why are you so defensive all of a sudden? I'll hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> that is a pretty bad curse, though. Why are you freaking I would hate, out all of a sudden? Yeah, that would hate, I would hate that curse. Um, I'm not freaking yeah, out. Yeah, you are. You totally are, Himiko. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. It's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon, uh, the crossbow. The crossbow. Where is it? It is here. I'm finding it. There it is. This is it. And a little birdie told me Himiko I was doing the this. the weapon was the crossbow found in the back. A crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. It's so surprising uh, oh, that a crossbow so surprising. Is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. <laughs> anyway, about Kaito getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. That's basically how every trial goes anyway. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? Hmm, all right. I'll smack him with some truth and knowledge and facts and justice and hope. I and good vibes. Kaito with the crossbow. Okay. What a mystery, right, guys? Three arrows. Who else but you could have done it? Three arrows. I bet the is that it. Shot would need to be fired. Uh huh. From inside the hangar to hit Kaito. Uh huh. We can go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. Well, how did you get in we there then? Go in the hangar. Why was it so covered? If Kichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see. So I'm the culprit. Bam. You're wrong, Maki. You've been so wrong during this whole class trial, and I love Maki. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! I mean, Himiko is pretty small. I, I guess it is possible she shot him through the window and crawled in there, but unlikely. <laughs> what did you say? I think but unlikely. Put plainly, that means she is acting nervous, but again, too obvious. It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? Shut up, Maki. I'm sorry, but you're like, come on. Like, you suspected Kaito in the previous class trial too. Yeah, it, you're the one that said don't get your emotions involved, and you're so exactly what you're doing. Always suspicious of your friends. W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. Well, I think it's safe to say that she didn't kill uh, Kokichi, because if she did, she wouldn't be talking about how she wants to defeat Kokichi. She obviously uh, believes that he's alive. So, I, can't, I think Maki's safe. I don't think she would have killed Kaito. Uh... Well, technically, she did say she'll do anything to defeat Kokichi, so I don't know. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me. That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole, too? So stop. Stop. See? Now that's definitely weird. <laughs> Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbows. That's what I said. I never knew about any crossbows. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. Yeah. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Thank you. Finally, someone brought this well, up. Really? 
You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yeah, yeah, she did, apparently. Yes, she did. Assuming Kiba's not lying. Kiba, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Wait, don't say it's me. Maki's more suspicious than I am. What? Yeah, why? That crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted. Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Even if you make that scary face at me, I'm not gonna get scared. <laughs> She's scared. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. Why am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. I've learned to ignore everything Kokichi says. Maybe I'm the culprit. I'm the culprit. Oh, I gotta do this now? All right. All right. Well, I I, I would think the only thing is that Himiko, uh, we, we don't, she doesn't know how to put the thing together. And then there's a small empty bottle as well. Because I was in the hangar. Small empty bottle poison. You are the culprit. What do you mean? Do you not blame the culprit. Oh, There's a good I magic sword there. Doesn't matter at all. So I went then there who, and I'm the number one suspect. Hatches electronic lock. I'm the one who shot Kaito. All right, so yeah, uh, Kipu did say that she left uh, empty-handed. She didn't have anything, so that checks out. But how did she? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, the the hanger. The, the alarm. Uh, one of them took their hammers. And Maki already said that she wouldn't use it. I don't think she would use it. So maybe the hammer Not was used. Oh wait, no, she says she went there empty handed. Obviously she didn't do that. I'm stupid. Okay, that's it. Keep those account. Right there. Right there. I am so confused. That's it. She did not go there empty handed. Oh, oh, that's how you do it. Okay, I didn't know that's how you do that. Okay, so you have to... Okay, I get it. So, I'm right, but you just have to shoot his thing down. I literally never knew that. Okay. Okay. Hey, at least, at least I was right. You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed. But that's a lie, It's a bald-faced it? lie. What are you talking about? It's a lie, shut but up. Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yeah, with a distressed look on your face. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. Uh, no, that was probably Tsumugi cosplaying as me. You'd be all red. Oh, I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional you character. No, I still think she's. I still think there's something more to her that we don't know. Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying. That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carry. Yeah, but why wouldn't she just say she was helping? What? Helping, uh... Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Yeah, helping Kaito. Uh -oh. She doesn't want to be sus or what? Well, it's decided then. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there. I didn't shoot it! It's the truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Yeah, well, like, did she talk to Kaito? Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! That is true, but can we really trust Himiko here? She's acting very suspiciously. Oh my god, more? What do you want me to say now? Not the culprit! Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. I carried the case. I only carry yep, the yep. case. That's true, too. And I didn't even use the crossbow! Another true statement. We gotta lie here. We don't know. We don't know. That's all. I didn't do anything else in the hangar. One hundred percent exact, Amundo. Mm. Why does this all sound so fishy? Ah, Kokichi won't shut up. <laughs> Get out of my head, Kokichi! No, she could have done this because she didn't know how to put it together. <laughs> agree. I agree. She couldn't have. She doesn't know how to use it. Put it together. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't yeah, yeah. use it. 
The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. Yeah, it was a wholesome but moment, too. I don't too. believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? Well, when? She didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about before? Just, I did teach you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. I thought they were gonna suspect me. So, I lied. Huh? I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. I'm sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them? Oh, the they're truth? in cahoots together. What? Fine, I'm not going to lie. Maki, Maki, Maki. You can't be. You can't be mad at Kokichi. You're gonna be hiding things now, okay? I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See, I told you. It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! She changed back so fast, I think I might have whiplash now. Then, why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. Asked to? Perhaps the person who asked is Maki. She sure sounds like it. No? I don't do know! It. I don't know why you would do anything! Uh, Kaito. That's it! That's what I was thinking earlier, but I don't know. Maki's kind of acting weird. Was it? Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow. He's so yes, we know. We know. We have to say it again. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. Nah, -uh. I hate you. But I like you. What? <laughs> hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. What to think that Kaito asked Himiko to do that? Maybe Kaito's trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. I'll definitely. Yeah, he said he'll do something about it. Okay. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? That's what I want to know. Well, Kaito. Sorta of asked me to keep it a secret. And why would he do and that? Kaito died and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. <laughs> this is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um. I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. <laughs> what the? Um, that one part was a. Yeah, you, you, you could have. Never mind. You, you could have kept it yourself. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow. Does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. Okay, so who brought the poison then? Because there was poison. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow and went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returns fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. Uh, the arrows? Yeah, well, the Kokichi clothes, I would say definitely that. But that might not be what they this want. Is it. No, no, that's what they want. Cool, I'm smart. Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. So Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? Then it was Kaito who shot him, right? Yeah, it's not exactly easy to load the crossbow, right? That's what I would think. I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. That's why, that's why he doesn't want to show his body. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? 
Why hide it? Why hide this? It doesn't this? matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Mm, still not proof. Uh, does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. But in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Okay, so at this point, it's probably safe to assume that Himiko might be off the hook. Maki, most likely off the hook. Shuichi, Samugi, Kibo. I don't know. That leaves then, our... Let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. If it was just Kokichi, why would we be having this class trial at all? Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Ooh. Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Monokuma, Stuff I would like hug that. you. I'd hug you if I could. Thank what? you for speaking some truth into these stupid people. What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing You can't still assume going. anything in these games. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. As well as Kaito's. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice Whoa. earlier. <laughs> I love you. Mean? Thank you, Monokuma. Yeah, don't rely on that. Oh After my all, god. This Exosol has a voice changer. Oh my god, it's anyone. Dude, Juko. Where's Juko? Come out. Come on out. I, I know you're in here somewhere. Ha. Because of that, hey. nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more! Sorry for the wait, guys! <laughs> I like how it says exists of Kaito. Dude, I can't, I can't deal with this anymore. Who is the in there? The of the stars has arrived! This time for real! Are they both dead? What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito! I was just pretending to be Kokichi is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? He doesn't even talk like that. Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that. Oh. She mad. Oh there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. I'm sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Dude, he sounds weird. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Kaito is alive after all. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know why I did that. Maybe that's just what I want to believe. Uh, what story does the evidence tell? Does that story end with Kaito or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question and soon. I can't look away from the truth. The victim in this case is... I'm just gonna go with K Kokichi and hopefully it's right. Most of the evidence we have now shows that Kaito is the victim. What's the matter, Shuichi? You just gotta have a say it with confidence. I can't look away from the truth. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. Okay, so with Kaito it is. Is he dead or not? Like, come on. I'm trying, I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never die! <laughs> oh my god. Good, good! This is already more entertaining! Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present this was fast. its very own more phenomenal well, it's been an hour, but like... All right, let's give it everything we've got. Uh, okay, well, it, it was a pretty short investigation too, so like, I don't know, I feel like things are moving a little fast here. Oh, this one, is this one different or am I just not remembering? Yeah, well, it's different. Yeah, that exists all. Ex exists all. I keep saying it wrong. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm getting a bad feeling about this, guys. 
Well, let's watch this nice little cutscene. Normally I would skip it because it's usually always the same, but whatever. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm it. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Look! Anyone who knows Come on, I want to get this in the first try. Make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Look. Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this. Okay. Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. First try, baby. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the mastermind. It's, it's, it's but this one. I got this, one. this because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Why oh. are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got this. Trav, they use the, the same words, so uh, Kaito is still alive. I gotta go through it again. I, I thought for sure I could get it. Ooh, take this, take this. D. Oh God, I'm missing it. Uh. All right, all right. This is our oh, now all of a sudden Maki's on my side. What? I don't <laughs> want to believe it. I still the can't. Evidence, the evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry. Oh, that so he just... Just, <laughs> just jumps back? What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Uh, just keep calm and carry on! Uh, why? Why? Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. Uh, okay. Poison. I agree, but... What do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you- Alrighty then, let the debate begin! All right. Crossbow, three arrows. When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. Most he likely. He fired the first shot at Kokichi too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, okay. and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. Why? I secretly brought a different one. No, but only didn't. one crossbow was taken. Yeah. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. No, no, it wasn't. That's wrong! I found three! And I know how to count! Wait, Yumiko. What do you mean, one arrow? Wait, did she only bring one arrow? Is that what she's saying? Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow. That changes things a little bit. Are you positive? Of course. There's no way I got that wrong. Oh, uh, why couldn't you bring more ammo? Strange, because there were three arrows in the bathroom. Remember? I said was hiding them in his butt. I mean, I don't know what else he did. Three? I know I only gave him one. Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. Uh, there were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said that she only brought one. What's going on here? Uh, Someone else brought something. Maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Well, uh, okay. Well, Kibo said he came there and Why talked to him. Why did Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. 
And all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Uh, then where did those arrows come from? Uh, there must be an angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? What could have happened? Think. I need to think. So, oh, gotta go in the taxi again. All right. Let's 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 skip this, guys. You don't care about this. It's just that's just crazy taxi Mario Kart Cyberpunk. All right, how many arrows did uh, Himiko give Kaito? One. All right, we're about to get them, ladies. We're about to get them, ladies, right now. Why is this like the mini game? It's so weird. And why do we run them over? And why does anything happen? One. Good. Where are all the arrows inside the hangar from the start? I don't know. I would have to assume. I'm just gonna say yes because I don't really know that. I don't know how we could know that. They weren't. Okay. Well, who brought the arrows? I, I just gotta assume it's um it's Kibo. That's the only person that, that said they went over there. Kibo. Or Maki, but I'm just gonna say Kibo. A third party? Okay, a third party. Hey, Boy, I was right. It's Kibo. It's Kibo. Could it be that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So, someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? Yes, sir. That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. Mm. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, again, Kibo is the only one that knows that a crossbow went over there. Well, they... I don't know if they knew if it was a crossbow, but then... Maybe it's Maki, then. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. That hangar should have been completely closed off, right? Uh, but wait, can we confirm that? I feel like there's uh, might be another way, some way that we can... We haven't figured it out yet. I'm overlooking something. Think, think. What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? Oh, Exosol. Exosol. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Exosol did go in there. Two different colors were mentioned too. Now that I remember. Oh wow, I never even thought of that. I never thought of that. That's it. The Exosol. The Exosol could be used to enter the hangar. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exosols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exosol. Yeah, that's a missing I piece. I saw an Exosol enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Hey, I'm just, I'm just saying that uh, Tsumugi uh, probably watches anime, and she's like, "Hey, this is kind of like Gundam," and I'm gonna get an Exosol. <laughs> Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an Exosol? Probably not. Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret. Okay, he, he's gonna explain it. About the details of the hangar. Go ahead, go ahead, tell uh, them, uh, tell them what, we, what I know already. Uh, I ain't gonna say it, you tell them. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an right. Exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Okay. Because it'd be a hassle to leave the Exosol every time you have to put it away. So it's like Shuichi said, a third party got in an Exosol and entered the hangar? But can just anyone pilot an Exosol? Well, you know, uh, that means that the people that have a hammer would be Smoogie and and Himiko and Kokichi. You know? Yes? No? No? Kibo. Well, Kokichi. Maki said to say she don't easy. use it. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. Thank you. Nipples too. Anyway, this third party commandeered an exosol. 
and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you, that's impossible. Why? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an Exosol. It's not possible. Are, do, are your ears plugged? Were you what? wearing ear, ear muffs? Possible. Like, what are you wearing? <laughs> Mike, yeah, what are you talking about? Uh, what do you know? What are you trying to hide? Why? Why won't you tell me? Tell me, Maki, we're friends! Yeah, it's so weird. The hatch's electronic if lock. someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Why? Is it really the Exosol? Really that difficult? Got to use your nipples? Get inside an exosol. Outside the hangar, there were four exosols. Yeah, the hammer was used. Too. Yeah, the hammer. I'm controlling them remote. The electro hammers weren't an option. Yeah, but it Yesterday, was found. All the hammers were still recharging. No, they weren't. That's wrong. So far, this has been pretty easy. I ain't gonna lie. Wait. Not all of the electro hammers were being charged. I know because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. It, it, it seemed pretty careless for them just to leave it behind like this, but okay. That electro hammer used by the third party? Maybe they used it to disable an Exosol. It doesn't explain the other ones though. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four Exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing Exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? The identity of the third party. Uh, the Electro Hammer gives us a clue. I saw four excess yesterday when I was. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I hate it when I mess up words. It really makes me mad. This morning when we were trying to get in the hangar, there were three. The culprit must have used the electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person amongst us, ooh, among us, that could have done that. Uh, Kibo? Kibo? Well, I mean, I'm just saying because he, he like, they haven't even mentioned the fact that he said he went over there. Okay, so, um, I'm just gonna say it's her. Oh, Maki then. Oh, well, I'm done. I'm dead real quick. Oh, well, I lost. Sorry, guys. Game over. Then it's gotta be Maki. It's you. Ooh. Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. Be careful, the Electro Hammer runs out of battery pretty quick, so if you use it against an Exosol, it'll run out of juice. The Electro Hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning, Maki, where's your electro hammer? I don't need it, I'd rather not- Yeah, she did say that. This is much better. A knife, well I suppose you know best. Maki was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third mm, I party. guess, I guess. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab, disabled the Exosol with an electro hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after- I'll kill your magic. Oh. Oh. Why are you doing this? Oh my god, no. Is it Maki? What? Why? Are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you- Yes. I'm the third party. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an Exosol. And then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! 
Who was she? She was obviously trying to kill Kokichi then. So that's how we, they team up. Do they team up against? So wouldn't she know if? Oh, she. Okay, okay. So that's how she knows that Kaito is dead because she was there You're and right. saw it happen. Okay. I'll use the electro hammer. Don't tell me she was the one that accidentally did it. What if she accidentally did it? I also shot the crossbow there. Oh, dude, I blew it. I blew it bad. Oh, no. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. Uh huh. However, I'm not the culprit. Because the crossbow was not the murder weapon. Hmm. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, God. She's pretty strong. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? It's the poison. The arrows left holes in the clothes. Uh -huh. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. Ah, uh, couldn't An get arrow it. To each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Ooh. Oh, cut for your if you got some poison on it, then. Hey, I came up with that pretty quick. You gotta give me some props, guys. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit. If it were poisoned. Poison? I noticed something about the I'm glad they're finally talking about this because I was wondering when they would do it. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. <clears throat> if that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you... Really, the culprit? This would be quite the twist. Th there's no way she is, because why would she kill we Kaito? We still don't know. It has not been decided that it's Kaito. Uh, I can't understand if you don't explain anything. Maki is still fighting. Huh? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Yeah, so like even kill Kaito? Uh... Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... Kaito's life. Damn it! Oh, well, I mean, come on, that's not wrong. If it's all of us, uh, maybe Maki's life, her own. No? All of us. That's it. Why though? She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? Why would she do that? But doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now. But this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? What do you mean? So is it really Maki? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Then does that mean you guys made up before he died? Dang, he really is dead. Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Were you always like that? Uh, you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. And so Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. What's with this narration all of a sudden? Don't just start narrating <laughs> things. You're ruining the mood. Well, 
I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. Kind of is weird though. Intermission. Okay, well, uh, obviously there's more to it than this. Can't be that easy. Well, guys, we're at the halfway point. Grab the popcorn, grab the bathroom, uh, grab some toilet paper, whatever you feel like it, and let's get going. So the Monocubs Theater has started, but with all the Monocubs destroyed, the segment was no longer possible. And so the curtain quickly fell. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I had something else I want to know. Why? That they are dead. Who are they? Who's controlling them? And why? The flashback light became the motive. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. I thought that if I killed him, this game and the battle between hope and despair would end. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to do it. We've tried to end this killing game before, but... You are naive. Huh? That's what I thought. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete. Simply because it's him. Naivete. <laughs> Maki totally gets me! That's why. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow, and broke into the hangar with an exosol. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Oh. Okay. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow. Probably by Kaito when he fought back. Both of them stopped and looked at the Exosol. Most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the Exosol I was in. I jumped out of the Exosol before he could and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. The Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions before he died. So he did die. To find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse but the, us. Oh no, he must have knew because the, the antidote was gone. What do you mean? If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. That way, he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Kokichi said it was a hint. But was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. Yeah. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. Maki must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. Ooh. What are you talking about? Remnants of despair? What's that? I, I don't understand anything you're saying. Dang, it's getting crazy. But anyway, why are you starting a killing game when it should have ended? You already know it's all meaningless. And that I'm the mastermind. He really seems hurt though, right? Do you love killing that much? Shut up, you asshole! Ooh. I realized it was pointless to continue the conversation, so I shot the final arrow. Dang, like, like, like that? But then... Oh, he got in the way. Oh, I knew this would happen! I knew this would happen! It's exactly something he would have done! What? So she unintentionally killed him! Kaito protected Kokichi? And that's how she knew he died because she killed him. Why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? At that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time? I used Strike 9 poison to torture Kokichi for info. 
but I plan to kill him from the start. <laughs> That's so mean! But that was my first mistake. Because of that... You what? I ended up killing Kaito. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing. But because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the bathroom window. Kaito, can you hear me? Dang. Quick, drink this antidote! After calling out to him, I chucked the so antidote she never saw, through the bathroom window. She never saw who took it! Kaito noticed it and grabbed the antidote, but Kokichi oh, stole it from him. Oh my god, dude, this, he just survives like a Sorry, freaking cockroach! But I can't die here. Uh, and all she could do was watch. That's tough, man! Since I'm the mastermind of this killing game. Wait! There's only one antidote! Oh, you don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? He already went to space. <clears throat> Damn it! S stop Phew. I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Or maybe not. Because now another class trial is going to start. Class trial? You'll be the blackened for this case, you know. The blackened who killed Kaito. Dang, that's so I, crazy. I killed... Shut it! Screw the class trials. Like hell am I gonna let you have your way? Kaito! Why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then... I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't have you kill anybody. What? Aw, Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. Of course, K Kaito, man. The situation just got way worse, huh? Maki is going to become the blackened responsible for killing you. All because you protected me. So don't you worry, Maki Roll. I'm not going to die that easily. Just leave it to me. I'll put an end to this killing game. <laughs> You're still full of energy. Even like that. You really are not boring. <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. So, show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What are you? Don't mind me. Run, Maki Roll. Just hurry up and run. Run and live. You gotta live. But I refused to give up. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. Oh my god, yes, that makes and sense. I couldn't. So that's where the marks on the control panel came from. And they were, there was a lot of marks. After that, I returned to the bathroom window once more. But I didn't see anyone. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. That's when I made up my mind. As the blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial. But of course. In exchange for all of your lives. Oh, but that's no. Maki, no, no, see, you were good, and then now you're not. And, and so I don't know. Think that's about that. What happened. Then Kokichi, knowing what he knew, still helped Maki cover up her crime? Is that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to help him. How dare you make fun of him! Oh, she got the knife! You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! You fucking asshole! Oh, she's bringing out the real curse Ooh, words Maki now. Maki is so scary. Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. So, what are everyone's plans now? With the truth out in the open, who are you guys gonna vote for? You can vote for me, but if you do, we'll all die together. Or vote for Maki and live. Until we see Kokichi, we won't know if he's dead or not. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this, too! Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you gonna vote for? No, we can't vote yet. We don't have the whole truth. This case isn't over. 
Huh? Thank you for huh? telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you, I finally understand. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. Oh. Hidden truth? Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with a testimony you've given us. Oh. Oh. Oh, I know. The poison was covered up. The name. We don't know what kind of poison it was. Uh, Kokichi drinking the antidote. Uh, Kaito protecting Kokichi. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say this one. Uh, no. Maki becoming the black and the control panel be damaged. Kaito protecting Kokichi. That. That. Yeah. I would say that's probably. Okay. I'm just dumb. Okay. So uh, this one. So is the control panel be damaged? That's it. Oh, is that wrong? Said she used a knife to try to break the control panel and enter the hangar. But that doesn't make sense because there's an alarm system on the shutter. Oh, yeah! The alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutter. I was too focused to notice at the time. But now that you mention it, it is odd. Maybe the sensor just missed her. Ah, the security there isn't that sloppy. If a shady person got near the shutter, the alarm would have gone off without question. So the alarm was already disabled by someone else. And why didn't the alarm go off? Like I told you, this isn't over. There's still a hidden truth to find. That's right. There must be some kind of reason behind all these oddities. Okay. So, what? What? I did attempt to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. Uh -huh. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Maybe it was just broken. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. I don't really try to break the control panel with it. I'm not going to tell any more lies. It seemed like the alarm system itself was working properly, so what can we learn from that? I did Wait, it was- it stated right here that Maki had an electrobomb. So why wouldn't she use that? Hey, boy! I'm right! Okay. But well, why would she lie about that? Way to disable the alarm system. Yeah, the electrobomb. But Maki only had one bomb. And she used it during the raid this morning. Oh, she did! I forgot about that! But wait, two hours, so maybe... Then the only other person who could have used one is Kokichi, right? Huh? Why would I use an electrobomb? I had no reason to shut off the alarm, right? I'd be at a disadvantage if I did that. I guess so. I can't come up with a reason why Kokichi would want to cut the alarm. But we know the alarm system was neutralized. It had to be. In that case, then... I've got it! Disab Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. What? The main objective of Kikichi, Kokichi using the Electrobomb was uh, to keep Kibo away. Disable the press's safety function. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's it! Which means it he was, was alive. Activate the safety function on the press. Then that means. Deactivate the safety function? The electrobomb wouldn't have just taken down the alarm system. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. That's true, but why would he do that? Well, because he actually killed Kaito. There's only one reason that anyone would want to do that. But if I'm right, it means that we've been thinking about this all wrong. All wrong? What aspect of this case runs contrary to the new evidence? Uh, Kaito's cause of death, the credibility of the death video. The mastermind of the killing game will say this. Uh, cause of Kaito does. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it! Kaito's cause of death. What? What? If the electro bomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote, maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. Hydraulic press. This is it! Uh, what else could it be? The hydraulic press. 
Kaito could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have? If the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito while he was still alive. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So, Kaito should have still been alive. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. If that's the case, it'd mean the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press, Kokichi. I see. Very impressive. The hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. But that's just a possibility. What do you mean? It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. Both causes are possible, but you'll never be able to determine it. We don't know for sure what poison was used because it was covered. No matter what. And that's no how we'll determine what? it. That's not true. Right, Shuichi? It was kind of called death poison arrow. Is it possible to tell? Yes. Uh, oh, no, it wants me to say no, there's not, even though I know there is. I hate to admit it, but Kokichi is right. We have. You're wrong. What did you say? You can't check the body, and you don't have any conclusive evidence. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. But I know, because I was actually involved. So that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to make it to where, like, we might actually it? all die. Yep, that was my plan. The gimmick of this murder case isn't the unknown victim, but rather the unknowable culprit. No one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition. Hey, double ending? I hope so. Intuition. <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? I have intuition. But there's nothing you can do I'm about it. I'm the ultimate intuition! This is just how the trial goes. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off! It's voting time! Are we gonna be able to see both of them? I hope so. <laughs> I'm gonna save right here. Uh, I'm gonna say freaking Kokiji. Oh, I can just choose to vote for anyone? It's a Mookie! <laughs> what happens if I just vote for someone? I don't- hey, I've never tried it! That's my line! I'm the one who decides when it's voting time! Oh, come on. No one's gonna figure out the truth. Let's just vote already. This won't be a problem, right, Monokuma? Because you know who the culprit is, don't you? Just like you always do. Huh? Uh, uh, yes! Mm, that's what, is that why he was sweaty? Because he actually doesn't know? What kind of a reaction is that? The, the, the culprit, you say? Uh, uh, yes! Uh, of course I know! Hmm? Why do you seem so flustered? Flustered? Me? <laughs> what are you talking about? This is the first one where Monokuma doesn't know. Monokuma? Do you not know who the culprit is either? Huh? Oh, what do you mean I don't know? Uh, what don't I know, huh? How does a bear perspirate anyway? You don't know, do you? What does this mean? Why doesn't Monokuma know who the culprit is? If Monokuma doesn't know, what does it tell us about this case? Wait, this case? Yes, that's it. So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Huh? What are you talking about? If there's no way to prove it, then no one can actually die. Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. And that's why he was guarding Monokuma, which just means he's not Monokuma. Murder Monokuma couldn't figure out? What's the point of that? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. But consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific details of each crime, correct? That must mean that he was using some way of monitoring us. Perhaps there are hidden cameras strategically placed- What? I freaking talked about this last episode. I was like, wait a minute. We actually haven't seen any cameras. I can't Crazy. say for certain, 
but he must be keeping watch somehow. Kokichi probably used the Electrobomb to scramble whatever that was. The Electrobomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Which means it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Nah, not, we only assume that. Before we determine that for sure, I want to make one thing clear. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the Exosols... Yes, the Exosols weren't protecting Monokuma. They were pulling him! They were admiring him! They were watching him! That's it! That's funny. <laughs> uh, wise guy, eh? They were watching Monokuma. Imagine. Watching him? Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? Oh, at that time, the exis Exisols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. I thought that was weird. If they were protecting him like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. They would have been scanning the area, watching us. But they weren't. That implies that they weren't watching us. They were watching him. Are you about to tell me that this entire time Kokichi actually has been a good guy, sort of? And maybe it's actually possible that him and Kaito came up with this plan? And maybe the reason why Kaito would come up with this plan or at least agree to it is because he knew he was probably gonna die? They were trying to make sure that Monokuma Just wouldn't saying. go near the crime scene. Possible. That reminds me. Before I stole an Exosol, all four units were focused on Monokuma. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. So Monokuma must have been talking about Maki. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So you share it instead. That'll, that way it'll be uh, fair to all the participants. Okay. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. In which case, it could only be Maki. You're right. Um, so to summarize this discussion, Kokichi used the electro bomb in the hangar and the Exosols to watch Monokuma, thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is? And does that also mean that there's no other copies of Monokuma because why would he be scared if he has like all these copies? Which means he doesn't. I told you there's no point! Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! No, Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. What? He never said but it. Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monokuma? Kokichi might not be the mastermind. What? Yeah. Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. Yeah, he's a little lying rat. Monokuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. The one who pitted humanity's last survivors against each other is... All me, baby. Right. He's a remnant of despair. How'd we forget that? But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the mastermind. Um, well, I guess. But is that really possible? Well, Monokuma? I can't answer that without causing problems. Because I've got to run this trial fair and square. Even more reason to give us the answer. If you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. Does that sound like a fair game? Would you say this class trial is fair? You can't handle the truth, Monokuma! Yeah, tell us! Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? No need to think about it. You're being way too forward, you know. Aren't you normally the forward one? I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. Truth, truth, truth. Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. And what is that truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi, because he's not the mastermind. Junko Robot. 
Junko's here. I don't know where, but she's here. Is that or it's really Kokit or it's Kibo because he's a robot himself. Why is he a robot? Why do we have a robot on our freaking team? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Kokichi was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. I know. I knew that the whole time, guys. Is all Kokichi's lie? I really did. I really yeah, was like, no, he just could be lying. That is what that would mean. With the key from the last motive, he was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. I see. Kokichi's own deductions. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. Yeah, we know what happened. His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. <laughs> oh, he did. But what about the Exosol? If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how'd he control them so easily? He just used Mew's remote control, right? So Mew. So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Oh, you didn't know? Mew not only invented the electro bomb and the electro hammer, but she invented those too. She also made a oh. remote control that can hijack any electronic device. Kokichi just slapped a receiver on each of the exosols and took them for a spin. Dang Mew! Hey, isn't it a bit unfair to tell them all that? Mew was very good. Fairness has nothing to do with it. I offered up that info purely out of spite. Fight towards you for trying to usurp the mastermind's role and take over the game. Well, whatever. It's way more interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? It seems like they're actually fighting. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the mastermind. Are we just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? It's like you learn your lesson already. It's like all what he ever are you does. Trying to by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi. Yay! Now you're gonna be all quiet? This is so frustrating. Then if he's not the mastermind, who is? Why are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? What? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Oh, we need to know. But I want to know. The real mastermind is not Kokichi. Who could it be? I was thinking it was Junko and Oshima, but that can't be it. She's dead. We've never come into contact with her. If so, who's done this? Who planned this killing game? Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on track. This class trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. So, yeah. Get to talking. I agree. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is, let's figure out the culprit! But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision making to Monokuma. I think you need to worry about but that. You gotta run the class trial too. So no mistakes, okay? Are you trying to get me to do something? You've been watching us solve all these cases, but you can't be a spectator anymore. You're gonna participate in the class trial from here on out. Really, finally? So, let's resume this class trial. Monokuma, you gotta use your brain too. Wow, this is a first? This will be the final class trial. Me versus Monokuma. You versus Monokuma? When I play a game, I intend to win. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind is the true thing. And that's how I'll win! That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma! If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner! You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? As I suspected, your thought process defies all logic. But I don't get it. The outside world is in total ruin. This game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. You really are a remnant of despair. Your way of thinking is just chaotic. Remnant of despair? Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. If the students or Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner. Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others for that matter. What? <laughs> 
It's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game. But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. If you think they're going to make this easy for you, you better think again. Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma joins your party. Whoa! This, this is crazy, though. What? <laughs> this is crazy. Who invited you? Now, let's join forces and unravel the truth behind this case. Well, we were going to do it anyway. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. Yeah! Let's just focus on the case. Hey, be quiet so we can ignore you. Now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it. Okay, do tell. Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. So another truth comes uh, out. That piece of evidence makes more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around was the... Uh, no one had seen Kokichi during the entire investigation or up until the class trial. Kokichi's clothes, Stragnite poison, electric bomb. This is it. Oh, the murder video. Okay. Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press. Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim. But we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic press so the cause of death would be unknown? But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. Okay. So, the mistake would it be to obviously admit that it was Kokichi. And, and what does this all mean anyway? Does this mean that Monokuma will die if he gets it wrong? Is that it? Because, like, how? How would that happen? But... That's true. I guess you're starting to fit in after all. You get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Oh, don't you start. Huh? Really? There must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. You're lying again, Kokichi. There's a method to your madness. If you want a Monokuma to make a mistake, then showing us this video, it must have something to do with you trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder, but keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does it show? It shows... Uh, the victim. The victim. Huh? Is it even possible? No, that's a question for later, but now we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he... Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. And that might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? Switched? Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? It was movie magic? What? Where would he even get another body? There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. If there was an unknown body, then we could guess the victim was switched. <laughs> but too bad! Switching the victims was impossible! Okay, okay, okay. Maybe the antidote. He, maybe he didn't take the antidote. He, maybe he did. He maybe he saved Kaito somehow. Uh, the only other thing I could think of is something about the Existles. Maybe, maybe using the Existles to change something. But I, I don't know. The footage showed the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? You could have paused it. And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. 
the camera doesn't have any editing functions. Pause. Just you play, paused it. Just record, and pause. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Damn it! Me and my big mouth! Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Oh, and what trick is that? See, you don't know, do you? You press I pause. I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be. So we can't just give up here. Hey, Shuichi. I'll think harder about this as well. So, can you confirm whether or not the victim switch places? If Kaito is... alive or not? The Hope is still alive! Yes! I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't... Well, okay oh. then. Let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. Himiko, if you call her that again... Yes, please. Aw, she let her. Oh, uh, okay. Let's all talk it over together. Together. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's gonna only wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Yeah, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. However, if the victims were switched, then that would mean the footage was altered. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? If we could figure that out, I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. Yeah, you time. just paused the recording. Kichi made it, so it's like... A trick to the video. There is a sort of stutter anyway, if you look at it. Right there. What could it be? What's suspicious about it? I feel like the way that it shut was kind of weird anyway. Kind of was a little fast. It usually just goes really slow all the way through, so... Murder video. Must be some trick to that video. That's what you all gotta figure out! There is no trick. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. Did the placement of that camera seem suspicious to any of you? The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? Yeah. The person in that video... Was it really Kaito? Something seems off about that. The hydraulic press was off. For a brief moment. I agree. I agree. Kibo is on to something. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press, it just goes down really slowly. And it never changes speed. <laughs> Still funny. I don't know why. That's right. The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. But in the video. The hydraulic press stopped briefly? Right before it crushed the body? But why would it stop? Because. Oh. Uh, Okay, all right, this is easy, this is easy. Okay, that's an Exisle. I'm gonna say they stopped it. Hey, they did do it, okay. I see it. I still think it's gonna eventually lead up to being paused. The only way to stop the hydraulic press is the four stop button. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety fire. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the four stop button. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Uh... Hmm, actually... Maybe I pressed it by accident. I don't really remember. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? That's true. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. That would have clearly been caught on camera. Okay, just let me oh, say what I already freaking know. 
If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Oh, I wonder what. I wonder what. Okay, where's that? Gotta find a picture of the camera. Rector time, baby. I see it. The culprit stopped the video camera at the same time as the hydraulic press. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. So, who, who's dead, dead then? Did you ever say that? So they stopped at the same time. The camera position did seem odd to me, but now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up. Yeah, precisely. had to make so his body could be hidden for a short period of time. You're really gonna make me do this? Up here? There! The video camera must Click have been bang. set up somewhere around here. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, it would have to be near the switch. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Camera angle. Huh? Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. Well, cosplay doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the height. The height? When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket. <laughs> you don't get to make that reference. Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Or he was crushed by the press. He was swapped with a different body. So Kaito's still alive! Well, wait just a we minute. We don't know that. What? But I just summed it up so nicely. She seems as a head. Himiko, the different body you mentioned, what are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Hokichi's the mastermind, so he... Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? Very well, I'll answer that. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Well, the culprits, yeah, yeah, the bodies are allowed to be reused from the first game. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body, that is impossible. All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Well, yeah, I don't know where they'd get them, so. Thrown away? The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaido switch places with? Then the only answer is Kokichi. Or it's paint or something. Kokichi and Kaito were the only ones in the hangar at the time, and if they were the only ones present during the body swap trick, then the real victim was... It wants me to say... the other person in the hangar. What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Maki. I think I missed something very important here. Something important? If I have the timeline right, there were only two people in the hangar at the time, which means that something had to be decided before. 
I have to pin that down. I can't let any this thing escape this time. Not this again. I hate this game. It's probably my least favorite game. I just pick random things so like oh god, I'm dead. Oh. Victim helped! The victim helped. So I think I'm actually freaking right about them working together. What do you mean? There were only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped, which means they were working together. Oh my god, huh? I figured it out. What? The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside. <laughs> They're like, what they up? switched places while the press and the camera were stopped. Then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. An impossible trick. Unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. Why would Kokichi do this, though? The victim and culprit cooperated? Is that even possible? It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez, this culprit's a real jerk. So, have you realized who done it yet? The culprit of the case. If my detective work hasn't failed me, the culprit is inside that exisel. It can only be them. It has to be... None other... Oh no! I... Don't... Get it. But it's already- But no, no, Kaito switched! Wait a minute, what was the question? Did I miss- it? I think I missed the question. The apparent victim we saw in the video was Kaito. Oh, it's asking the apparent. The apparent victim. Okay. Kokichi was operating the hydraulic if the two of them switched while the press was stopped. Then the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi... ...must be Kaito. So... The person inside that exosol isn't Kokichi. They didn't sound like Kaito very well, it though. They sound more Kaito. like uh, Shuichi. What did you I say? still don't think either one of them are in there. So the culprit for this case is Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. Okay, all right. Right now, calling it, I'm calling it. It's Kibo. I don't want to believe it's it. Kibo. Either, but it's the only way it's Kibo. this makes sense. I'm calling it. My detective work has led me to the conclusion. Listen, that listen, Kaito listen, 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 listen. Listen to me right now. Mew. Mew put a function. And we were all led to believe that this function was just a light. Just a light. I spit. Sorry. What if Kibo actually has a hacking function? It's already been established that clearly it is possible for Mew to do that. Now, I did cut that part out for you guys, but uh, I did explain it in a previous video. I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's more to this. I think he actually, I think it's it's Kibo. And, and I think they're both dead, but I don't know how they're both dead. I don't know how they're both dead. I just, that's what I think. Is that true? I could look Is real Kaito stupid right now if I'm wrong, really but I just gonna go out on a whim and say that. Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then I think no one's in I'm there. I'm the culprit. There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive because I'm the culprit. Wait, you? But didn't you say? I saw it with my own eyes. Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito! Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. Huh? I don't understand.
Maki, are you trying to protect Kaito? If he's the culprit, you're trying to help him get away? There was only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Why would Kaito be in there? And then why would he also like make pretend that he's Shuichi or, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I killed Kaito. There is absolutely no doubt. That's the truth. Dang, this is so crazy, this trial, man. It's freaking everywhere. No, it's it's you. No, it's you. No, no. I understand how she feels, but if Kaito is the culprit, why did he agree to Kokichi's plan? I can't imagine that Kaito would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover the truth. But Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. Yeah, there was that hidden that hidden bottle what? was covered, you know? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. What are you talking about? Impossible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. I mean, I killed Kaito. I, I, I think that it is like almost impossible to believe that Kokichi could be good, but maybe it is possible. Arguments. Oh god. Oh, okay, this is her thing. I That's cool. killed Kaito. Oh god, this game's still hard for me though. The final blow. Okay. All right, the I truth saw is. Kokichi drink the antidote. Uh, 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 pretended, pretended to drink the antidote. It ends here. <laughs> I... Pictures are always so random, man. Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. Yes, that's why they covered it up. He pretended to drink it? Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. Oh my god, dude, I don't want to feel- I don't want to feel feelings for Kokichi, done. man. After what he did to Gonta, I still- I still don't forgive him for that. To make Kaito cooperate. I'm still- it still hurts, okay? Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Kaito's dead. And so is Shu. So is. They're both dead. They're both dead. Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Who else would agree to die just to execute their plan? Why would he go that far? I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what! But too bad! Shuichi figured out the truth! Truth? Are you sure it's not delusion? Delusion? A delusion what now? completely off the mark. To make you think that I died. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? Yeah, extras? I'm fine with being an extra. Huh? Why? If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. <laughs> Don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. Huh? But why? You are being so friendly with us. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? 
But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function anymore. Can't function anymore. Kaito, I believe in you. Mm -hmm. If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. This is it. I don't even really know. This is the truth of the case. All right, guys, here it is. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. So this isn't she the end of the game. The black case There's one more chapter. Heading to the Exosil hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. Okay, yeah, we know that. He just assembled a crossbow. I mean, when we the know it, I kind of, I don't know, I get it. To... Yeah, okay. I just want to see that execution. <laughs> I mean, no, Sometimes I don't. Fast. No, I don't! What am I saying? It's Kaito, for God's sakes. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. It's cool to However, see the pictures, though. the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed it. She knew Lucky exosols so cool. could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. True? <laughs> Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the I gotta say something. jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an Exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. That's when Maki came rolling in. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an Exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an Exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the Exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. Ooh, right the, in the arrow back. hit Kokichi right in the back. And it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. Of course Kaito would come on through. To keep Maki from becoming the blackened, the culprit used their body to shield So what Kokichi. made Kokichi change his mind? The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lap and immediately ran off to get it. And that's when the door closed. The Strike 9 poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie 
was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar, so she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Then he hit him. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned era, but it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. Dang, that must have been like, uh, that'd be so scary. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. An electrobomb, capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In oh, and that's why the blood the was antidote, on it. Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. But that's just a good guy thing to do. Why would he do that? Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. Yeah, he, okay, so he, he wouldn't have done it. He only did it to protect Maki. Makes sense. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike 9 poison, the whole plan would be... After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. That's crazy, man. I wouldn't have thought of that. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. <sighs> While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, the culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. Man, that'd be scary as crap. The press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, the yeah, press yeah, yeah, got yeah. lower and lower. And just as the cold... Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. The two then oh switched my God, places sure this and also switched roles. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my the God! The and the victim. The would-be victim became oh a culprit and started up the press and camera. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. He only did it though because it was a good opportunity. I don't, I don't, I didn't think that was a noble thing for he Kokichi to do. I still hate him. Even if it meant dying himself. I still hate him. And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. 
But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan well, we obviously to create a it. murder not even Monokuma could figure out. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. I mean, what's up with that toilet, though? That's the unexplained mystery. Why would they build such a great toilet? Finally, they climbed inside of an I can't stop thinking about it. I wish I had it in my bathroom. With bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. But they They're sound just like Kokichi, the Monokuma mannerisms and everything. Defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. The blackened, I've... What a ride, boy. The culprit is in that Exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. He was gonna die anyway, though. So, like, that's why it doesn't matter. I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Well? Well? Really? Is it really, Kaito? I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! Huh? You're still not gonna admit it? Admit it? But it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. That's what I'm thinking. If he was just sacrificing himself, why make us go through all this? Was Shuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No, my detective work was flawless. It's the truth. Yeah, he could have just died from being sick. I'm sure that Kaito is inside the Exisol. So why is Kaito still fighting me? Is this about Monokuma or is there another aspect to you this? You claim everything is set and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a moment. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. Not just possible, it's the actual truth. Well, it's true. There's no proof that the bodies were switched. No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. Oh my god, game. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel <laughs> right faith. now. Faith! That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the results of this voting time be? If Monokuma makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone, right? Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing game. Ruin? I see, so that's your objective. <laughs> it just never stops, man! That's why Kaito has been so stubborn all this time. But what does he mean by ruin exactly? Monokuma can uh, do whatever he wants to the rules. How do you ruin something like that? What would be the point? Start the voting already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh! Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Because I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Now I know the whole truth and why. I believe in my own logic and I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's not about logic, it's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito, not as a detective, but as a Shu as Shuichi Saihara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Hmm? One last conversation? There's more to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. Okay. Am I supposed all to right, lie? Let's pin this down. Who was inside that Exosol? Hmm? 
Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokiji's the one who died. Oh, and that's the what he thinks. Is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not. I would never die. I trust Yuichi. Kaito's trying to ruin the game, that's why he's hiding the truth. I don't know exactly why, but he's putting his life on the line for it. So to put my faith in him, this is the only way. Everything that's been determined up to now, what if I turned it all on its head? I need to lie. All that's right, let's figure. pin this down. I'll reveal the truth. I'm so good at lying. Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. No. What? What do you mean, lie? Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is... I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. Huh? Oh, so we just gotta the lie to make is, him say something else. After we found the crushed body, I... saw Kokichi. <laughs> you saw Kokichi? Yes. He threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. Oh, okay. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, okay. so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't. I can't keep lying like this. A beautiful acting. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Oh, hold on. Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. Really? I really am sorry, but this is the only way. Kaito's trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. If Kaito's risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by him. That's assuming he's alive? We don't know! I hate this! If Monokuma wants to rely on my detective work, then fine, I'll just lie. Everyone, please, don't vote for Kaito. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that Exosol. He's the culprit. Monokuma would be like, okay, it's Kaito. Hey, Shuichi. I don't know what you're scheming, but as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito. <laughs> Stop it. That's enough. Oh. Huh? It's over. Oh, crap. He actually did get out. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's no way I can let that happen. So, it's fine. Let's end this. Dude, he pulled off the best impression. <laughs> what? K Kaito! So, it really He's wasn't... actually alive. My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything. But before that, it's voting time. All right, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? I'm the one who killed Kokichi. Kaito, no! It's just Aww. like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. Hey, Monokuma, let's hurry up and get this vote started! <laughs> well said. Let's get this started, then! The like, half of that trial was pointless, then. As the blackened and the spotless face-off! It's voting time! No, don't make me do it. No. I actually kind of want to see if we can vote wrong. Let me try it. Let me try it. It's no use. It's no use. It's it's no use. It's no it's no it's no I can't vote. It's no use. Myself. It's no use. It's gone since no use. That's stupid. I have to vote for him. It seems the voting it is finished. The voting Why am I reading it? Like an idiot. God, I hate it. Let's see. The result. No one voted. Come on, guys. Come on. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? God, this is trial has been long. A long trial.
I got a B. I got a B. <laughs> okay. Well. All right, the golfer's gonna fess that I guess uh, even more ones can't screw this up. The black and kill Kokichi right. is there. Yeah, yeah, we know. Hmm. So you all got this right, huh? Even Shuichi Maki roll voted for me. <laughs> what a relief! Well, I knew you guys wouldn't get it wrong. But you know. But man, was it hard to act like Kokichi the whole time? You did. That was like it was spot spot on. I mean, sure, he wrote most of his own lines. Seriously, look at his huge script. He wrote the whole thing. What? He's even got a bunch of alternate lines for different events too. Dude, you would have to. You would have to. Plan that for so far ahead. He was just a good guy the whole what? But even so, I had to do an ad lib. You guys couldn't tell though, huh? Come on, man. Hey, come on, guys. Don't look so sad. You guys got it right. It's what? all good. Why did you kill Kokichi? You were against the killing game, so why did you kill him? I believe that you absolutely wouldn't do such a thing. Naki. Was she protecting Kaito or just believing in him like That's me? Right. I should explain most of it just like Suichi said. After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. I mean... Then he told me I had to cooperate with his plan. Hey! What plan? <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time of a plan to throw the mastermind off guard. What? Throw them off guard? What are you talking about? You're the mastermind. Ah. Uh, that was a lie. I only pretended to be the mastermind. What? Pretended? You all fell for it, but you know, I prepared a bunch of stuff. Like this remote control, I had Miu make it. The mysterious message in the courtyard using Gonta and making him a murderer. All that... All that preparation was just to make you guys think I was the master... What? Oh, it makes me mad. What the... Why would you do all that? The reason why I pretended to be the mastermind... Shit. Was to end this boring killing game. Huh? To end it. Yeah. I thought if I showed you the despairing truth, you guys wouldn't want to go outside anymore. I thought it would end the killing game. But instead this happened, I'm gonna die by Maki's hands. Why do you think this happened? Why do you think Maki tried to kill me? Why do you think the killing game started again? What? Oh, because the true mastermind instigated it, and I'm certain of it. They made a move without us noticing. Man, thanks to that, everything is ruined. Hold on! The true mastermind instigated it. So whoever that person is, they also instigated Maki's actions I'm too. Yeah, they probably tried to eliminate me because I pretended to be the mastermind. What? My actions were instigated by the true mastermind, but that can't be. The reason I decided to kill Kokichi was because I remembered the truth from the flashback Could lights. Be. Maybe making you remember the truth was what the mastermind wanted. Huh? Hmm. Maybe the true mastermind had us use the flashback lights, so we would target Kokichi as a remnant of despair. So the flashback light itself was the true mastermind's trap all along. They expected us to target Kokichi once we remembered that he was the remnant of despair. Okay. Kokichi certainly expected that's why he talked about the true mastermind. But even so, this is all rather inconvenient for the true mastermind. The person claiming to be the mastermind just so happened to be the remnant of despair? We're all students of the Hope Speak Academy and our fates are tied to the remnants of despair. I never would have imagined the fate would bring us to Kokichi's murder. It just plays too nicely for the true mastermind. Hmm. Samugi! <laughs> Samugi! I didn't know about the flashback light. I guess that's another mystery for you. I mean... Anyway, like I was saying, you know... That's who the true master... Wait, who knows? I don't know either. Oh, is, did he actually but... say who he thought it was? But it doesn't matter. We can't lose. This game is pointless unless you win. That's why I thought of a special plan. When I'm on the verge of losing, <laughs> my plan will help me win. Huh? I don't really get it, but this is the plan to throw off the mastermind? Yeah. Well, it's not that difficult, Kaito. I need you <laughs> to kill me. What? I mean... The plan was to make a case where the victim was unknown and then trick Monokuma into thinking I was the victim so he'd mess up. If he ruled that either Maki Roll or Kokichi were the blacken, then I'd show myself and Monokuma's ruling would be invalid. And if Monokuma's ruling was invalid, the killing game would end. But... That's what I'm most curious about. What makes you think it would end? Right. I asked Kokichi about that myself. Why would Monokuma care if he messed up the whole who, who the blacken was? And this is what he said. Even if it's Monokuma or the true mastermind, they can't break the rules as they please. Being unfair like that isn't allowed. Hold up! What do you mean? Yeah. Death games are meant to be watched. If no one was watching, there would be no reason to be a stickler about the rules. There was no point in making this a game in the first place. But... But Monokuma has been a stickler about the rules and about making the game interesting. That's why he agreed to my plan in the virtual world. Which means... Which means Monokuma is aware that someone is watching us. In that case, I have no doubt that this death game is being shown to someone. What did you say? 
So this is some kind of show? <laughs> Who would be watching? We're the only ones the left alive, aren't we? Yeah. That's right, the flashback light is the reason we even remember ah. that. But Kokichi might have been right, so why have, it, why have a death game when no one's watching? I wasn't sure about it at first, but after this class trial, there's no Listen doubt. Up. Monokuma can't do whatever he wants, he's bound by the rules of the game. That's why he couldn't afford to get the culprit wrong while he relied on Shuichi. Yeah. It's just like Kokichi said, if this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. A death game is made to be watched. If that's true, then who? Hey. What's this all about, Monokuma? Huh? <laughs> who can say? Yeah. Why won't you tell us? We're friends during the trial. Yeah. Honestly, I was just happy you guys cooperated well. with me. Humans love to help. They just jump at any opportunity to extend a helping hand. Well, then. then there's another question. Who are you really? If Kokichi's a remnant of despair, it's n if not, it's not the mastermind. Then who is the true mastermind? <clears throat> I'm not gonna spill the beans on a perfect to be continued cliffhanger like that. <clears throat> why are you just so cute? What? Really? Hey. I understand Kokichi's plan, but why did you agree to work with him? Why did yeah? Cause because obviously the Maki, Maki, right? It was kind of hard to ignore ignore such an annoying guy. Um, I wonder how far ahead he planned his evil scheme of his. <laughs> What? But killing you? Don't screw around. What are you talking about? You want me to kill you? Ah. I figured you'd react like that, but you're sure. But are you sure you're okay with that? <laughs> because if this poison kills me, then Maki would become the blacken, and her crime would be exposed so easily. Well, you know. If that happened, then Maki and I would have died for no reason, right? Which is just what the true mastermind expects. What? That's plain dirty. Ooh. So why did you give me the antidote? <laughs> I am the ultimate supreme leader. There's no depths I won't sink to. Even if I had to sacrifice myself. Anyway, this is our chance. Our chance to end this killing game. Ruin this killing That's game. That's why you have to kill me so we can win and ruin the killing game. Well, bring the true mastermind and everyone who's watching. <laughs> well, bring them down into utter despair. Then everyone who died can rest in peace. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna die soon. Can we get this started already? Damn. You're seriously crazy, dude. <laughs> but, you know, I wasn't boring, right? Punk. Then he blackmailed you by yeah. using me. No, I agreed to his plan once I heard the- Oh, that's savage. <laughs> He's like, no, it wasn't you. Yeah, so he really just wanted to ruin the killing Please. game. He was crazy, but that let him come up with this crazy plan, and we needed a crazy plan in order to stand a chance against Monokuma. I bet on the chance I didn't have any other choice, because I'm out of time. What? Could it be? I know, you mean your health. What are you talking about? Yeah, I saw that guy. My bad. Bit. That was a lie. <laughs> it's pretty bad, honestly. I'm at my limit just talking. <laughs> No, it can't be! No. But I gotta wonder how this all happened. I don't remember at all. In my memories, I was fine during the medical exam for my training. If he was fine during the medical exam, then that means... Could it be... The virus... Oh! I freaking called it! I called that he had the virus. What else would make him sick? Yes, 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 yes. I remember correctly. Yeah, so he got it. But how? Dude, it's like I have, in I have the intuition without even knowing it. Kaito didn't use the flashback light, so he might not remember what? it. But weren't we supposed to be immune? We were selected because we didn't. Well. Perhaps the virus was dormant when you were selected for the Gopher Project. You, you could have been infected the whole time, showing no symptoms until the very what recently. Did you say? Kaito was infected with the virus, but how could that be? Jeez. I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm pretty screwed, huh? Well, I knew this was coming. That's why I agreed to Kokichi's plan. But you know, but you know, when I found out about the plan, I thought it was pretty awesome. Hey, so Kokichi left me with the whole outline of it. I freaked out when I read it. It was a pretty good plan. I thought we might be able to trick Monokuma, <laughs> but I knew Shuichi si would see right through it to the end. Huh? Through it in the end. Well done. That's exactly what how it went. Nice job, Shuichi. You really are something. Well Kaisu, did That's you? Right. I knew you guys would figure everything Got out. It. That's why I was able to get on board with Kokichi and lie to you like that. Even if I messed up up during the trial, I knew Shuichi would see the truth. That's my side Just kid. what I'd expect from my side. Why? Kid. Then. If you knew it was pointless from the start, then why? Yeah, that's what yeah. I said. It wasn't pointless. It ended up being a huge success. What does that mean? How? I mean, because of this plan, Kokichi pretended to be the mastermind. Got it. We got closer to the true mastermind's lair. Liar. Liar? Find this truth. There's got to be a hint that leads to the real truth. Huh? Yeah, no doubt. That's why Kokichi gave his what? life. You talk as if he uh, was your partner when you hated him so strongly what? before. I hate his guts. Honestly, I'm pissed off at him. He made us go through so much crap to the end. No one, even beyond that, he was a lying sack of crap. Pretty accurate, though. Hey. It's getting harder to breathe, so please, can you? Hey, so... Can I ask you one thing? You want to ruin this killing game, but you kept saying how fun it was. <sighs> that was a lie, obviously. How could a game that you're forced to play be fun? I had to think this game was fun to survive. I had to lie to myself. Huh? You little... 
You bastards who created this game to toy with our lives and the crap's annoying, enjoying it. They all piss me off. Shit! That's why I'm willing to do whatever it takes to end this killing game. Kokichi said that? Nah. Uh, that could have been a lie too. He probably just said it so I'd cooperate with him. Hmm. Was it really a lie? I think his dying words may have been the honest truth. It's a lie! It's definitely a lie. He's not the type to shed but... real tears. I wonder which one it is, a lie or truth. Even now at the very end, I don't really understand Kokichi. But maybe that's what lying's all about. You never freaking know what he was all about. The truth is in the eye of the beholder, huh? Kokichi was the very embodiment of a lie. That's pretty much wraps up my explanation. Now, finally, I need to apologize to Shuichi. Huh? I mean, to be honest, I was jealous huh? of you. That's right. Because you were always saving us, you know? Your detective skills kept us alive. You were just a, way too cool and I got frustrated. So that's why I was so harsh on you, my bad. That's wrong. Hey, no, Kaito, that's not true. Hey. I was only so confident because you were there for me, Kaito. When you made you when you made me your sidekick, you said that you take the responsibility. And that that's why I can do all this. If you didn't talk to me back then, now I'd be. Oh. <laughs> Kaito! Kaito! What? Are you okay? He's not okay. You know this. How can I be okay? I'm about to die. I'm glad he said it. Okay. Alright, you sure are, Bucko, because it's punishment time! Uh. Punishment? I won't let you. I won't let you kill him. Dude, she's not gonna. Oh? You plan to get in my way? You know what happened if you do that, don't you? So what? I don't care what happens. I plan to kill you from the start. Indeed. Yes, I've determined to fight back for a while now. No, stop. Kaito. I can't. I can't let you die, Kaito. That's it. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're dying. I won't let Monokuma touch you. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> what was that? What's so funny? Hey. hey. Just thinking about life and how irreplaceable it is. Know what I mean? Huh? Hmm. When a life ends, those closest to it mourn. But if you could somehow recycle that life, then those closest to it wouldn't need to mourn anymore, right? That's nice. If we could recycle life, the world would be filled with hope. That's my point. Hey! Hey! All right, kids, time for your grand re... Reaction voice? Two. Reaction voice? What, was, huh? what the heck was that? Is all that what did I just see right now? I didn't even pick one! Oh, I think I was supposed to do that. Though. Okay. So they're back. Doesn't explain anything. What's going on? I could have swore there was more of you guys chumps before. Freaking I know. Let's destroy Mana down now. That sad crap is burning me the... What did you say? Weren't all of the monocubs completely destroyed? Hey. Those old monocubs were destroyed. These monocubs are the latest model. They still get their fancy settings, so in a way, it's like they're brand new characters. So but who cares? Much. Now that my cubs are back, I'm not lonely and miserable anymore. You brought them back on a whim like that? You guys are just replaceable. Maybe not as replaceable as monocubs, but finding other people to participate in this killing game is easier than you might think. Finding other people. Oh well. I got no idea what's going on, what any of this means, but that's right. Hell yeah! We're just so freaking lovable and crap, except Monodam, of course. Do you know what else this means? <laughs> now that the Monocubs are back, I've got my Existles and Ataraj protecting me again. Still want to defy me now? This is bad. If he's got the Existles again, so what? I won't let you kill him. I'll fight until the end. Stop. Even if you fight the Existles, you'll just kill, get killed. The remote control and the last electro bomb were crushed in the press. No. Why would why would they put the control in there? Why would they do that? You. <laughs> Enough already. I... I've never felt this way before. I've always fought to kill, but this is the first time I fought to protect someone. Huh? And I've never been given a nickname like Maki Roll before either. Uh, what? You. I... And I've never met someone as stubborn as you before. <laughs> and I've never. Fallen for someone before. Oh no! What? Maki roll! No. I don't want this to end. I just don't. I won't let you That's kill why him. I won't let you kill Kaito. I absolutely won't let you. No, My no, bad. don't tell me. Don't tell me she's gonna die. Maki roll, I'm sorry, but that's not an option. I don't have as much time left as you think. I'm fighting just to stay standing. I... But I. Hey, so. Hey, Maki roll, I asked you before, what's your enemy? Before you hated yourself so much, you didn't even like yourself a little. 
And wasn't that the reason you tried to distance yourself from the others? That's right. You decided that you didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? That was your enemy. Don't worry about it. But not anymore, huh? You're all right now. <laughs> you fell for a guy like me. Now you can learn to like yourself. Come on, man. Hey, don't cry. Can't you send me off with one last smile? I believe in you. You guys, too. I'm not going to lie you any tears. Send me off with a big bang. Uh, oh, the homie. Okay. okay, Kaito. I won't cry. I'll endure it. I'm going to hold it in. <laughs> I'll endure it. I... Dude, one of those people are the mastermind, I bet. <sighs> Sorry about the wait, Monokuma. You can go ahead and start now. Okay. Can do. Dong, dong, dong. My first punishment time. I've never been one to... Right. Let me say this to the true mastermind controlling Monokuma. Get ready. You better get ready. My friends are gonna... Aren't gonna lose to you. <sighs> That's all. Please. I'll leave the rest of you guys in this ridiculous killing game. Please do not worry. Uh, we'll end it, so please don't worry. Shui and Shuichi, never forget, you're not alone. You have friends. Don't try to do everything by yourself, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, Kaito. Okay. The impossible Don't is forget, possible. the impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it okay. so. Yeah. Thanks, Kaito. Maki roll! Oh, Maki. How long you gotta cry? You should smile. Sorry. I can't. That's impossible. I can't. <laughs> of course. My bad for making you cry like that. <laughs> Dude. All right. Let's end this with a bang. A special punishment luminary suited for the luminary of the stars. Okay, okay. You don't gotta tell me. I'm excited to get this started. Get I'm not gonna die the way you want. It's punishment time! After all of that, dude, I really didn't want him to die. But it's like, you know, I don't know, man. There's just too many twists. But yeah, he should be shot up into the moon, just saying. This is a bad time to say I'm not wearing any pants. Okay. Probably. Whoa! Hey, why does this look so much like the freaking, the first game? What? Wait a minute, this is the freaking first person in the game, wasn't it? This is... That looked... What? Is that a coincidence? I gotta look back at that. Okay, well, you know, you could have sent him to space, but now you sent him here. Oh my god. Yeah, no. <laughs> Dude, the pressure would just kill you. Oh, he's in space, I guess. I, whatever. What the heck is this? Ooh. Error confirmed? Oh, he died before. Execution fail. The first execution to fail. What? His antenna? Dude, that's symbolism for something. Why did it knock off his ahoge? Oh, that is not good for Monaco. He's mad. Why? Why that? I knew. I thought it was weird. He's the only one that has one. Kaito. Right? Keyboard, are you okay? You got hit by the debris when you protect. Well, I'm fine. More importantly. Hey. What's the matter, Monokuma? Is upset that Kaito won? Yeah. What do you mean, Kaito yes. won? He died before you in. Uh, the in. You went... Talking. Kaito didn't die from your execution. Okay. That's right, he wasn't killed yeah. by you. Yes, it's Kaito's victory. Yeah. We lost? I don't know if he meant to do it, but he certainly went out like a stubborn... But... <laughs> well, whatever, it's not like this is the end of the killing game, so it's fine. It's not over? Hell yeah! Hey! It ain't written in the school regulations. Okay. The killing game will go on until there's just one black and or two spotless. Hmm. School regulations, so you're gonna follow the regulations, huh? The only reason you want rules is because you're showing this to someone. Well... I just want an entertainment killing game. But you've certainly entitled your own your own opinion. That's wrong. That's enough. Enough of your bullcrap, Monokuma. I made a promise to Kaito I will end this killing game. And to give Kaito's death meaning, I swear I will keep my promise. Right. Yeah, we're not gonna let anyone else die. Who's... Who's even gonna play that game anymore? It's already over. 
Something's wrong with it. Something's wrong with freaking Kibo. You, you can cut the tension with the knife. What's everyone talking about anyway? Well, actually... Feels like we stumbled to the last act. I don't know what's happening at all. Ah! Fill us in. We want to help you out. Okay. They are so cute. I just can't help. They're so cute. <laughs> Gather around, kids. I'll spend a whole month telling you about what you missed. Whole month? Won't that take longer than the whole chapter? I'll tell you about it while I smother you with hugs and kisses. You kids go on ahead and wait for me at home. So long. Uh, why did I stay behind? Because I want to give you all the reward for working so hard. I don't want it. Just go away. By the way, I don't know uh, where you got the idea that this killing game could be stopped. There's nothing, a, uh, there's nothing a participant can do to end this killing game. No way. This game is going to keep going for a long time. During his ranting, Monokuma took out a flashback light. What did you just do? What? A flashback light just now. Uh, is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. <laughs> the flashback light has a special effect. You'll remember soon enough. You'll remember that despair is only the choice you have. <laughs> and that hope doesn't exist here at all. <laughs> the killing game will never end. And then Monokuma left. I have so many questions. After all, I honestly don't remember how we got back. I took it all as that I just had to accept reality that Kaito was gone, and not just Kaito, Kokichi too. I didn't think they'd both be gone, man. But it, it wasn't all for nothing, because we're drawing ever closer to discovering the true mastermind. <laughs> she's alive! Dude, she's like, there! How? It's just Nagito? <laughs> Oh, I actually wouldn't be surprised though. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. That's how she would talk. It'll repeat over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as it's fun, we have to keep it uh, doing it. It's just simple supply and demand. <laughs> it's because we keep buying the games. <laughs> Such despair. Oh my god, I knew it eventually. But but wait, then, then that means it's Kibo. She's controlling Kibo. Uh, I don't know. I don't freaking have. I don't have the brain power to figure this game out anymore. Later that night, I found myself standing in the one spot. Okay, we're mourning his death. And here's Maki. Oh, I'm sorry, but this chapter is long as heck, and I really want to. Like, I gotta go. <laughs> I just gotta go. I. Okay. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry what? for what? Uh, um. I was the one who drove Kaito into a corner, just like Kaede. Uh, I ended up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Well. Are you feeling lonely? Hey. Are you lonely now that Kaito's gone? Of course! I feel so lonely and so sad I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaito. If he hadn't been my friend, uh, I would be... Right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried this hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful to Kaito. Huh? I want to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely, I'm grateful to him. <laughs> That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not gonna uh, wallow in pity. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he You're did. Right. I guess that's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation too. I'm sure that our friends who passed on don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Uh, uh, you guys were here after all. Yeah. Just like I thought. Uh, I knew you guys would be here, so I, because I cast a spell to find oh. you. Samuki Himiko? Um, if you don't mind, can we join you on your, uh, on your training? Oh, they want to do the training with us? Wow. <sighs> we're going to end this together? Yeah. Himiko and I promised okay. Kaito. We're gonna do what we promised and work together to end this killing All game. Right. We can't afford to lose the despair. Okay. Absolutely. Monokuma said that there's no hope anywhere, but he's he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. So wholesome, guys. So very wholesome. That's right, I have friends. Not just my friends here, but uh, also friends who have died. They all gave us their hope too. That's why I'm gonna live. I want to live for everyone who died. <laughs> Freaking, she can't even do push-ups. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on to defeat no matter what. Thank you, Kaito. Let your sweat yeah, wash know. away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Because, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota. Luminary of the stars. He'll be in the stars. Hey, no fair, Kaito.
Oh, by the way. Uh, what happened to Kibo? Yeah, um, dude, something's not gonna be off of them. <laughs> We're gonna find out. It's gonna be him, watch. I don't think a robot really needs to do any training, but the rest of us are here. I kind of wish he'd come too. It's quiet. Too quiet. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. Because... All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Even if despair is all we have to choose, even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. I... I will end this. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair. Dude, what if this- what if he has the soul- what if he actually does have the soul of freaking uh, first character, first main character of the game, Makoto? Bro, oh my god, what if I'm right? He did kind of resemble them, but like, I don't know, I could just- oh my god, this is a cutscene. I'm just like, not even realizing, he's just like, what? And I will destroy it. Wait, destroy what? Oh! There was so much this happened in this chapter. Oh my god, guys. Okay, all right, we're ending this right now. Smash like, S please smash like. God, I don't, I don't know. I just want you to smash like. But <laughs> guys, thank you for for uh, participating in this. Uh, I want to say just thank you, especially if you watch the whole thing. Uh, if you're coming back, hey, you're cool too. But like, crap, man, Junko is alive. Uh, all right, let's end this. All right, guys, love you. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.